Out of all the steps required to launch an online course, recording your videos can feel like one of the most daunting and overwhelming tasks, especially if you aren't used to getting in front of a camera. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly record your videos directly to your computer without worrying about setting up tripods, messing with memory cards, or spending hours editing afterwards. All thanks to one simple, free piece of software. If you'd like to see more videos like this one helping you grow your online knowledge business, please click like and subscribe below. Hey everyone, I'm Brian McAnulty, the founder of Heights Platform, the online course creation software that helps creators like you monetize your knowledge and get your students' results. If you wanna be able to record your video live without having to worry about editing it and exporting it later, then Open Broadcaster Software, better known as OBS, is a great way to go. Now, OBS is a tool that is very popular among live streamers and YouTubers. And if you've been a content creator for a while now, then you've probably heard of it. This might look like a tool that is intimidating or complex at first, if you're not familiar with uh, video software or video editing, but it's really simple and straightforward to use. And I'm gonna show you how. All right, so here we are inside OBS. And now I'm using this on a Mac, but it works on Windows as well. And the first thing I wanna mention is to not let the interface here intimidate you because it may look a little bit complex at first, but it's really pretty simple once you understand it. Essentially inside OBS, you have the concept of scenes and sources. And then over here, you have your audio levels and then controls for the most part, you're going to be using simply the start and stop button here for recording. Um, you also have your settings and then to start streaming if you wanted to do a live stream using OBS, for example. So what a scene is here, we're gonna go over to the left side and a scene is essentially a collection of your sources inside OBS. And a source is something like any video or audio source that you want to add. So. For example here, I have this scene called CamLink scene, and then we have a camera, which is called CamLink 4K. That's because I'm using a device from Elgato, it's called the CamLink, which connects a professional camera into your computer as a webcam. And that way, basically, I'm able to use a high quality camera, but record it directly into my computer, or even use it for online meetings, things like that. If you wanna know more about specifically the technology that I'm using, uh, check the link in the description and at the end of this video, I'll have a link to another video where I'm gonna explain all the different technology pieces for my camera, my audio, my lighting, so you can understand how to get that, that set up as well. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be just walking through how OBS works. So we've got our camera set up here, we have our audio set up, and we have optionally things like you can add an image so here we go, we have a, a logo we could turn on and off if you wanted to add a logo. If you wanted to add some other kind of uh, image border or effect around your video, you could do that with OBS. So if you go into here, you'll see these are all the sources that we can create. So you could add a, another camera if you had multiple cameras plugged in. You could add things like a source from your display. Probably the most common sources you're gonna have here is simply your camera and then your display capture for recording a part of your screen, for example. So most commonly, you'll have something like your camera scene, which is what we have here. And then you might create a second scene like this one for a screen recording capture. And you'll notice as I switched to this scene, we actually had a transition that happened. That's one of the features of OBS. If you have a video editor help you create a transition, or if you wanna just use a fade transition, you could do that as well. And then you can have that trigger whenever you switch a scene here with your mouse. Now, what I'm showing here is just a web browser and we can scroll through that and use that as normal. Basically, this is capturing a specific Google Chrome window on my computer. You don't see it here on this video because uh, OBS we're showing on my one screen, but I have a second screen with just Google Chrome on it. And that is what OBS is recording as the source. Now, if you only had one screen, you could just have your browser window or whatever you wanna show right next to you there on OBS to be able to record that along with your camera. And again, you don't have to show your camera in a separate scene like this. Um, you could turn that off. You could resize it, move it around, anything you want. 
And besides options like I showed that we had that transition when we switch between the scenes, you could even do something like create a little intro sequence for yourself where you start recording, you trigger your intro, and then you switch that to your camera once you're ready to start talking. And that is really the power of OBS, being able to create these different scenes. You could even have one, let's see, we have a second camera right here that you can switch between multiple camera angles and you're doing all of this live. So you don't have to have a video editor or worry about any complexities in your setup. Once you have those couple scenes created, all you can do, all you have to do is toggle between them and you're good to go. And one of the things that uh, I'm also gonna explain in my separate equipment video is how you can toggle between these easier because it's not too hard to just click your mouse and switch between them. But if you're focusing on recording your video, um, you might not wanna have to bring up this OBS window here and have to look at your screen to do that. So there's actually a device that's very popular called the Elgato Stream Deck. And that is what I use as well. It's just a small little box that sits on your desk and it's got a couple little buttons on it which you can assign to anything you want. So it could be a start and stop recording button and a scene switching button. You could have multiple buttons assigned to different scenes that you want to switch between. So maybe you have one button is going to start your recording, one button is going to trigger the intro scene, and then maybe even automatically switch to your camera after that's done. And then another button could trigger switching to your screen recording capture. And then you're able to essentially have this really high quality, well-produced video that you're doing all completely live. And you don't have to worry about spending hours editing afterwards, learning how video editing software works or any of that. And now the main benefit here is that you have the ability with OBS to just sit down and start recording. You can forget about the technology hassle of everything, the setup of everything, and you're able to take that task list that you have of that video that you need to make. And instead of it becoming something that you keep putting off because it takes so long to get set up, it takes so long to complete it, you can simply sit down and hit record and you're good to go. Now, if you do want to over time, uh, add a little bit more to your setup and improve it. Uh, you could do things even like add effects uh, live inside your OBS setup. So here, if we go to my camera, click on filters, you'll see you can add something called a LUT, which is basically a color profile that's gonna apply over your video. And instead of saying, well, you know, I used OBS to record my video and I didn't have to go and edit different clips together, but I wanna make everything look a little bit nicer or adjust the colors on it. Well, now you can do that also right inside OBS. So you don't even have to bring your video into a third party software after to do something like adjusting the color or the brightness of your video, for example. And you can do the same thing for your audio. Let's say you wanna add like a noise reduction or a compressor to your microphone that you're recording. You could do that as well. Um, but again, I'd urge you not to worry about that stuff right away. Uh, simply just get set up and start using this to start recording faster because that is the end goal here. We don't wanna be messing with technology so, so much that we never actually get our videos finished. And um, so that's the goal here. We wanna create a really simple setup for ourselves that you can sit down, you hit record, it's saved right to your hard drive, and then you're all ready to go. You can simply upload that right to wherever you need it. I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see all the equipment that I use to record my videos, specifically how my lighting setup, what type of camera I use, how my audio works, then check out this next video and you can learn how to mimic a similar setup for yourself to be able to record your videos quickly and easily.